Are you losing vitamin D every winter, even when you think you're doing everything right? And could a simple training plan help you hold the line without supplements or sun? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're unpacking how consistent exercise helps you maintain active vitamin D through the darker months, especially if you carry extra weight. I'm Alara Sky. You'll hear what a 10-week winter study uncovered in adults with overweight or obesity, why active vitamin D matters more than total vitamin D, how fat and muscle enzymes respond to movement, and what type of routine helps you preserve your levels when sunlight is too weak to help. You need ultraviolet B from direct sunlight to make vitamin D, but in northern climates, winter UVB is often too low for months. That's when deficiency risk rises, and excess body fat amplifies it, because vitamin D gets sequestered in fat tissue, making it harder to access the form your cells actually use. The most active form of vitamin D binds to receptors across your body, influencing immune function, inflammation, insulin sensitivity, and muscle health. If active levels slip, you're more likely to face fatigue, poorer blood sugar control, depressed mood, chronic pain, and less resilience to infection. The question the study asked was direct. Can exercise alone, without supplements or weight loss, preserve active vitamin D in winter? Participants were inactive adults with overweight or obesity who were not taking vitamin D supplements. The trial ran in winter, when skin production is essentially off. One group stayed sedentary. The other followed moderate intensity indoor cycling plus resistance training. This design isolated the effect of movement on vitamin D, handling rather than confounding it with sun or pills. Only the exercise group maintained their active vitamin D. Both groups saw some decline overall, but sedentary participants lost about 15% of their active form in just 10 weeks. Those who trained kept active levels steady despite no measurable fat loss, showing you don't need to shed pounds to protect vitamin D activity when daylight can't help. The mechanism is the key insight. Exercise shifted enzyme activity and fat tissue toward activation and away from breakdown. One enzyme converts stored vitamin D into its active form. Another deactivates it. In the sedentary group, activation dropped and breakdown rose. With exercise, activation rose and breakdown fell, conserving the form your cells require. People with the most fat mass benefited the most. Baseline conversion in high fat tissue was sluggish, but regular training retuned that machinery. The more consistently they moved, the better the conversion, even though total fat volume didn't shrink. This suggests your routine can reprogram how your tissues process vitamin D during months when sunlight isn't an option. While the enzyme analysis focused on fat, the pattern points to whole body effects. Improving metabolic health through regular movement likely supports muscles' role in vitamin D balance as well. That synergy helps explain why the active form held steady only in the training group, despite identical winter conditions and no supplementation. If you're planning your winter playbook, the study points to a practical approach. Combine moderate cardio with strength work. Indoor cycling paired with resistance training did the job. You can adapt that with brisk walking, bodyweight circuits, or biking, plus a simple dumbbell routine, as long as you keep the effort moderate and repeat it consistently. Treat the darker months, often October through March in northern regions, as a specific window when you train your body to activate and protect the vitamin D it already has. The guidance here is straightforward. Make movement daily, pair cardio with strength, and remember that while excessive high intensity can backfire, moderate exercise cannot be overdone. Sunlight remains the best way to optimize vitamin D when it's available. In summer and in winter, if you live in a warm, high sun area, get direct sun on bare skin daily. If you're still using canola, soybean, sunflower, safflower, or generic vegetable oil, Understand that these seed oils flood your cells with linoleic acid that accumulates in skin and increases the risk of sun damage during peak hours. Remove those oils for at least six months before seeking peak sun exposure. If you supplement because you're indoors or far from the equator, combine vitamin D3 with magnesium and vitamin K2. 
Without these cofactors, people needed 244% more vitamin D to maintain healthy blood levels. Together, they support absorption, help prevent arterial calcification, and aid liver fat handling. Testing anchors all of this. Check vitamin D at least twice per year and aim for 60 to 80 nanograms per milliliter to support metabolic, liver, immune, and muscle health. Common questions come up. Why does vitamin D drop in winter? UVB is too weak to trigger skin production. How does extra body fat affect status? Storage in fat cells makes activation harder, lowering the form you use. Does exercise help without supplements? Yes, consistent, moderate movement improves activation, even without weight loss. What kind of routine works? A mix of moderate cardio and strength four times a week was effective in the trial. Let's bring it together into a clear winter plan grounded in the findings. Move daily at a moderate pace, include both cardio and resistance work, keep intensity sensible, and repeat the pattern for at least 10 weeks. Use sunlight strategically when available, clear seed oils well before peak sun, pair D3 with magnesium and K2 if you supplement, and verify progress with periodic blood testing so you know your numbers rather than guessing. Here's your challenge. Over the next 10 weeks of winter, schedule four moderate sessions per week that combine cardio and resistance, remove seed oils from your kitchen, and book a vitamin D test now and again at week 10 to confirm you maintain 60 to 80 nanograms per milliliter. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.